ओम शांति 31 मार्च 2023 इंग्लिश मॉडली एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन कीप योर टेम्पर वेरी स्वीट डोंट कॉज एनी वन सॉरो इवन बाय मिस्टेक टू स्पीक बैड वर्ड्स टू गेट एंग्री टू स्कोर समवन आर ऑल वेज ऑफ कॉजिंग सॉरो क्वेश्चन इन वट फॉर्म डज माया सेट यू चिल्ड्रन एंड एग्जामिनेशन and how can you remain unshakable during that examination answer the main examinations come in the forms of lust and anger it is very difficult to stop these two from chasing you the evil spirit of anger repeatedly knocks on your door it watches to see whether you are barking at someone many types of storm come to shake the lamp The way to remain unshakable during these examinations is to have yoga with the father who is the almighty authority let the drums of happiness play inside you only this knowledge and the power of yoga can enable you to pass these examinations today's song this war is between the weak and the powerful this is the story of the lamp and the storms Om Shanti The father explains and you children understand that you have come once again to the father from beyond all the rest are physical fathers at this time everyone has a devilish intellect whereas in the golden age everyone has a divine intellect after becoming devilish you definitely have to become divine again There is a great deal of difference between being devilish and being divine being impure and being pure you know that you were pure and that ravan then made you impure we are now once again claiming our inheritance of the pure world our fortune of the kingdom of the golden age for 21 births from the father it is only when baba tells you children that you remember it but you then forget it when something is remembered the heart is eager to tell others about it if it is not remembered the heart neither has that desire to tell others nor does that wave of happiness emerge the face would seem wilted you know that we are now claiming our fortune of the kingdom of the golden age that we lost the land that was lost to the christians has already been reclaimed but no one knows that it was maya who snatched away your kingdom this land has already been reclaimed from the christians by force and hunger strikes etc there is no question of that here it is in your hearts that you are claiming your fortune of the kingdom once again just as you did 5000 years ago by following the father's shrimat he doesn't instruct you to use a sword etc he says children keep your temper sweet become very sweet in the golden age both the lion and the lamb drink water together from the same pool they live with one another with love they do not attack anyone or cause sorrow whereas here there are many attacks of sorrow to use the sword of lust is also an attack of sorrow to say bad words to someone to get angry and scold someone is also to cause that one sorrow the father says don't cause sorrow for anyone in this way make your temper very sweet do not do anything that causes sorrow for anyone even by mistake it is said of shri krishna that he abducted many queens nevertheless it is still said that he abducted them in order to make them happy you now know that it is not a question of shri krishna the bhagavad is connected to the gita and the mahabharat war is also connected to the gita it is now that same confluence age there is no mention of shri krishna the kingdom of shri krishna is in the golden age shri krishna did not die rakis for changing impure ones into pure ones 
that festival is for purifying the impure and it is the supreme soul the purifier and not shri krishna who carries out that task shri krishna took birth in the golden age kans ravan supnaka etc cannot exist there it is at this time that the community of devils exists you now understand all of these things it is in your intellects that you have studied raj yoga with the unlimited father innumerable times and claimed a status in the kingdom for 21 births and that you then lost your fortune of the kingdom through maya the children who climb into the hearts of the mother the father and the grandfather become worthy to sit on the throne what status would those who are not obedient claim you have to claim a status in the sun dynasty kingdom otherwise you will become maids and servants who are only worth pennies some do not follow bab dada's directions the instructions of brahma are famous shri baba shrimat is also famous along with brahma and shri baba the directions of their children should also be famous you have to follow the directions of both shri baba and brahma because only then will you become elevated in order to become elevated the mother and father have such good dharana they teach all the children all the children receive murlis this one's part is to teach there are some children who teach better than the mother and father there is no comparison to shri baba he is the highest of all anyway at this time some of you children become cleverer than mama and baba no one has become complete one thorn or another continues to prick when maya attacks storms come to the lamps the more you stay in gyan and yoga the brighter your lamps will remain with this oil when there is not much oil left in a lamp its light becomes dim the lamps of some remain burning very brightly storms come to souls that is to the lamps storms will come baba says i am the one who is number one in experiencing these maya becomes powerful with a powerful one the father explains o oh, lamps storms will come but do not perform any sin through your sense organs if someone says anything listen with one ear and let it out of the other let there be this practice anger completely destroys a person that too is a big examination the vice of anger comes and knocks on your door it sees whether the soul is barking as soon as someone begins to bark the lamp goes out maya continues to set examinations for everyone it is understood for some that they didn't used to have anger but that they now do have anger baba had many good children but they weren't able to tolerate the storms of maya and so they fell it is then said that that is their fortune they weren't able to withstand an examination you children have to remain as completely unshakable as angad during any examination that too is an example because there is no such being as hanuman let the drums of happiness play inside you children by having yoga with the father the almighty authority you automatically receive help you do not use the power of weapons baba teaches you all the methods remember the father and your sins will be absolved there are also different stages of anger the evil spirit of lust is very bad may the evil spirit of lust not enter anyone again you have to use the power of yoga to remove it the evil spirit of anger is also removed by having yoga it knocks on your door again and again wherever it sees a margin it enters these five thieves cause a great deal of loss within you 
we used to be so wealthy the five vices have made you poverty stricken the leader of these is lust the second number is anger it is with great difficulty that lust the child emperor leaves you alone it is a very great enemy it causes great distress poor innocent ones are beaten so much you can't even bear to hear their complaints it is only the one father who hears these complaints however baba will only listen to the complaints of those who are honest nor of those who are false therefore these vices make human beings totally dirty when the sickness of anger erupts in you it not only destroys you but it even spoils the nourishment of others it creates upheaval and stops those who want to come to take nourishment from baba bondage is imposed on them and their fortune income for innumerable births is stopped how great would be the sins of those who put obstacles in front of the ones claiming their inheritance from the supreme father the supreme soul don't even ask instead of having mercy on themselves it is as though they are cursing themselves if someone becomes a traitor he causes damage to so many they experience obstructions in making their future lives like a diamond this is why the father says if you want to see great sinners great fools and greatly unfortunate ones you can see them here if incorrect things are printed in the newspapers it causes many difficulties for the poor mothers if they know this and still do bad things then how much punishment they would receive from dharmaraj the father says do not become traitors and perform such actions that innocent ones are beaten as a result they are also known as furious ones the temper of the blood in their hearts rises so much that they would even pick up a sword and be ready to kill they would then be hanged on the gallows some here also become like that when the vice of anger enters them they stop so many from earning their income the father says the punishment for such souls is very severe those who become traitors and create obstacles accumulate huge sins on their heads those who ascend taste the nectar of heaven but if they fall every bone in their bodies is crushed here you can either become a master of heaven or a servant those who perform such actions become such sinful souls they become instruments to cause sorrow for many baba has great mercy on them the mothers have to be given regard it is said salutations to the mothers the father comes and places the urn of nectar on the mothers they are assaulted a great deal and so a great deal of help has to be given to those long lost and now found children if someone performs wrong actions instead of helping so much damage is caused you have to become extremely capable in order to change devils into deities baba creates your new portraits while you are alive artists paint portraits and those who paint good pictures receive a prize this father says i create such portraits of you with gyan and the power of yoga that after you receive your bodies you will receive very first class bodies you will change from humans into deities through knowledge and the power of yoga you become so beautiful there is no other first class craftsman such as baba it is the father's task to transform humans into deities this is the number one service through which the whole world is transformed no one knows that sweet father they say that he is omnipresent 
It is not in the intellects of human beings that the same pure world is held. This is only in the intellects of you children. The wealth of the greatest millionaires is to turn to dust. They will die in great sorrow. Nowadays, when strong animosity develops, even eminent people are killed. Don't even ask. Very bad times are to come. You children are now making effort for the future. No one else makes effort for the future. However, while you are making effort, Maya makes you forget, and you then become as you were before. Maya turns your faces completely away. Therefore, you have to take great care. To whatever extent possible, remember Baba with happiness. We are once again claiming our inheritance of happiness for our future 21 births from the Father. By remembering the Father, you will experience happiness. People experience happiness when they see palaces, etc. with their eyes. You understand through a divine vision or your third eye of knowledge that you will receive your inheritance of happiness from the Father for all time. However, that is only when you follow the Father's Srimad. He continues to caution you, children, follow Srimad and become very sweet. Stay quiet and remember the Father. There is no one in this world as fortunate as you children. You become the masters of the world. There is a great deal of happiness there. It is also understood that those who study Raj Yoga now will be the ones who studied it in the previous cycle. You see that the guides do service and that they bring birds as well as flowers to the master of the garden. In return for their service, they receive thanks. Knowledge is very easy. This life is known as the most valuable one. You change from stones to diamonds and from poor to wealthy. It is remembered if you want to know about super sensuous joy. Ask the gopis and gopis, but which gopis and gopis? Baba said that this is a huge lottery. The Father is the creator of heaven. Therefore, it is very easy to remember the Father and heaven. It is no small thing to become the masters of heaven. There is no other religion there. You children have come to know that you have been seeing many different types of sorrow for half a cycle. You should now make very good effort. No one can be happy in this world. There everyone will be happy. There is great pleasure in claiming a high status in such a kingdom of happiness. You should not fail repeatedly by being slapped in a boxing match. If you indulge in vice, you will be hurt very badly. Anger too is very bad. You should not be hurt again and again. Otherwise, you will fall. Acha. To the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children. Love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children extend their love, remembrance, say good morning, Namaste. And thank you to the spiritual Bab Dada. Essence for Dharna. Number one. Do not perform any such action that instead of it being a blessing, it would be a curse on you. Do not become a traitor under the influence of any of the evil spirits. Number two, follow Srimad and become very sweet. Stay quiet. Speak with a very sweet temper. Never become influenced by lust or anger. Blessing. May you constantly be an image of cheerfulness and stay beyond any attraction of good or bad with your sanskars of easiness. Explanation Make your sanskars so easy that you remain easy while performing every task. If your sanskars are tight, 
circumstances will also become tight and you will then have tight interactions in your relationships and connections. Tight means to be caught in a struggle. Therefore, with some scars of easiness and observing every scene of the drama, stay beyond any attraction of good or bad. Do not let any goodness or anything bad attract you. You will then remain cheerful. Slogan Those who are full of all attainments are ignorant of any knowledge of desire. Om Shanti